Land, John McLennan here, and in this video you're going to learn how to play Mary Had a Little Lamb as recorded by Stevie Ray Vaughan on guitar. Now this video is a part two to the first video that I already posted on how to play the 12 bar blues section of this song, and in that video I detail out Stevie Ray Vaughan's note for note guitar licks and rhythm parts for that part of this tune. Now, in this video, we're gonna go over the verse section. We're gonna cover what Stevie plays when he comes in singing. And this part is also used for the guitar solo. And we take our typical 12 bar blues, and what we do is we just play part of it. We play bars five through 12. I'm gonna break it all down for you so when you're done with both these videos, you'll have a pretty good grasp on being able to play this song note for note and be able to go through the recording. Before we jump in though, I wanna give you a gift right away for spending some time with me here on my channel. At the first link down below, I've got a free tab sample pack. And these are some exclusive handouts that go along with lessons here on my YouTube channel. And they're just gonna make learning from my videos so much easier. So pick those up at johnmcclennan.com slash tabs or use the first link down below. All right, well with that said, let's break down this song. Let's break down how to play Mary Had a Little Lamb as recorded by Stevie Ray Vaughan on guitar. Now we're gonna start with where the vocal comes in. So we're coming out of, of course, that classic 12 bar blues intro where he's playing. <laughs> And he comes in with Mary Had a Little Lamb. And this goes to an eight bar blues chord progression. Here's what it sounds like. One, two, three, four. So this starts out on an A7 chord. Now this is a blues in the key of E, but when the vocal comes in, it goes to the four chord. And we're gonna play for that four chord, the open fifth string, then second fret, second fret, second fret, and then third fret. A very standard blues chord, right? With just one finger there and then grabbing that note G on top. So that's your A7 shape. We're also gonna use an E7 chord after that in the first four bars. Here we're gonna play all six strings. Open, two, two, one, three, open. Now I do this the way that Steve Ray Vaughan does it, which is cover two strings with one finger there. Takes a little bit of time to get used to, but if you can get that, it really helps with playing this song. So we're gonna play two bars of A7. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Then we're gonna go to E7 for two bars. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Then we have the last four bars here, which is like a turnaround. We're gonna go up to B7. And this is gonna be played from the fifth string down, two, one, two, open, two. Then we'll go to A7, and then back to E7 for two bars. So it's a bar of B7, a bar of A7, and two bars of E7. So one, two, three, four, change, two, three, four, E7, two, three, four, E7. So you wanna try and just go through the progression first, just playing whole notes, and then we're gonna dive into all the muting and what the strum hand is doing to make this shuffle groove. So here we're gonna go, just whole notes for now, let's try it starting on the A7. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, two, two, go to E7. B7, A7, E7. Now, if we wanna add some more rhythm to it, you might try something like this. So 
So I'm starting by hitting just the bass note on that A chord. Then going down, up on beat two. So this is a quarter note for our bass note. One E and a two E and a. And then on the uh, I come back up of two. It's a little 16th note rhythm. One E and a two E and a. And then on beat three, I'm gonna rest three. And you can do that by just dropping your strum hand on the strings and muting with the fretting hand. Then come back up, pushing down the chord, then mute again, then strum up with the chord, you know, and then right after you play these chords, you're gonna rest with the fretting hand here. So all together, it's gonna go one E and a two E and a three and four and one E and a two E and a three and four and that's the first bar. Then we'll do the same thing again, but instead of playing the bass note on one, like one E and a two E and a three and four and we're gonna go one and two. So we'll play the bass on the and of one. One E and a two E and a three and four and one and two E and a three and four and so if I just groove on that on an A7, it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. So you want to just keep that groove going, and then what you do is you change chords. You go to E7. Now when we get to E7, we're going to start with our bass note on E instead of A. So it's going to go. So one E and a two E and a three and four and one and two E and a three and four and. Remember, it's got to have that right kind of swing and feel to it. So it's all of those elements coming together. Then we'll go to B7 and we'll just play the first bar of the rhythm because the chords here are changing faster so it's a two bar rhythm but we have one bar per chord so we'll just play the first bar there so that's going to go one e and a two e and a three and four and then go to a one e and a two e and a three and four and then on the last two bars we're going to go one e and a two e and a three and four and one and i just hit that downbeat there and break Okay, so the last four bars go one E and a two E and a three and four and one E and a two E and a three and four and one E and a two E and a three and four and one. Then you just rest and one and two and three and four and then you go back for the next verse. This is also played for the guitar solo. So the guitar solo plays over this eight bar blues, which really, if we think about it, it's just bars five through 12 of a 12 bar blues. So it's starting on the four chord and then going through the rest of the form. So here's what it sounds like played as one piece. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Congrats on making it through this Mary Had a Little Lamb Stevie Ray Vaughan guitar lesson. Remember that this part is played during the verse and the guitar solo. And then that main riff that's over the 12 bar blues goes in between. So between those two sections, you have all the parts to play the song. Now keep in mind that this rhythm takes a while to get used to that swing feel. So you want to I would recommend tune your guitar down a half step and just try and play it along with the recording. Just a simple rhythm and work on the muting and just getting that feel together. It's not gonna happen overnight, but keep going, you got this. And to help you even more, be sure to check out my free tab sample pack at the first link down below. And this is gonna help you with learning from my YouTube lessons. And it's just gonna make it so much easier because you'll be able to follow along with the handouts that I have for you. So pick those up at johnmclennan.com slash tabs or use the first link down below. Before you go, let me know your number one song that you would like to see me teach here next on the channel. Just comment it down below. Thanks for your support with the videos and we'll see you in another lesson real soon.